Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I've got a really exciting video today because I'm gonna be testing out the new P. Louise metallic bases. You all know I have been waiting for these to come out since like, since they announced it, I've just been so eager for these. So I finally got them and I'm gonna do a video testing them all out today. I got all four of the bases, so I'm just gonna do a few swatches of them and then I'll do like a few different eye looks so we can test them out on the eyes and see what they look like. So this is the shade you're glowing and it's a really nice silvery colour. I'm just going to put a little bit onto the back of my hand. I'm just going to swatch it for you. Oh, it's so stunning honestly. I love these already. <laughs> Don't mind the burn on my hand. I burnt myself on the oven <laughs> but this is what the silver is looking like. It's absolutely stunning. We've then got the shade hooked up which is like a coppery kind of colour. This is so stunning. It's got like pink reflex in it. It's so nice. I am not the best at doing swatches but honestly they look amazing. But yeah it's definitely got like pink and gold reflex in that. It's so nice. I've then got the shade No Games. This is the darkest colour of them all. I genuinely thought I was gonna like that one the least as well but that is stunning. And then finally we've got the shade Extra AF which is the gold metallic colour. Yeah I am officially the worst person at doing swatches. <laughs> so this is the gold and it seems to have like green and pinkish tones in it as well. I think that's so nice. So that's all of the colours. Obviously I've not swatched them the best but they still look absolutely gorgeous. I think I'm gonna do a look with the shade You're Glowing first, which is the silver metallic colour. I've already done my eyebrows because I'm gonna focus on the eyes in this video. And I'm just gonna prime my eyes with the P. Louise base. I use the shade Rumour 2 to prime my eyes. I'm just going to use my Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival XL Pro Palette and I think I'm going to go for like a berry pinky kind of makeup look for Valentine's Day. So I'm going to go in with the shade Reckless and I'm just going to pack this through the crease and then wing it out. I'm gonna go in with the shade Influence. I'm just gonna use this to blend above that. And then I'm just gonna go in with the shade Makeup. I'm just gonna use this above that to blend them all out. I am really liking how these have blended together so far but I am going to go back in with all of the colours just to like build up the pigment and like make sure that the blend is perfect. So I think I've managed to get that looking a little bit nicer now. The blend has gone really well so I'm just going to try and clean it up a little bit now. I'm just going to use a little cotton bud and try and clean it up a little bit now before I cut the crease. Well, I've not really done the best job at cleaning that up, but it'll do for now. So I'm going to take the metallic base in the shade You're Glowing, and I'm just going to use this to cut my crease. I've just finished this eye off of camera so that I know what I'm doing and so that I can show you properly what I did on this eye. I'm just going to use a little makeup brush with some makeup remover and I'm going to clean up underneath that silver line where I want to cut the crease again. I learned from doing this eye that the P. Louise base does not go well layered on top of this metallic base. I should have known that anyway but I just wasn't thinking so I didn't clean it up properly and then it just like creased a little bit it just didn't go well so I'm gonna try and make sure that I clean this up properly this time so 
So I think I've cleaned that up enough or I've cleaned it up more than what I originally did on this side to begin with anyway. So I think that's going to be okay. I'm just going to go back in with the P. Louise base and I'm going to cut that crease again so that I've got like a silver line showing. See, I still must not have cleaned that up properly because it's creasing a little bit in this corner here and I never have that problem with the P. Louise base. I'm just going to smooth that over with a fluffy brush. And then I'm just going to go in with the shade Temperate from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just going to press this all over the lid. It's definitely smoothed out a lot more now I've put that shadow on top of it. You can't really tell that it was creasing as much anymore. I genuinely think I just must be going the wrong way around using these because they do seem really, really nice. Like it was easy enough to cut the crease and everything. I just think I'm going the wrong way around it because I am struggling with creasing a little bit, but... I don't know, it's the first time I've used them, I'm probably not doing it right, so I'm not blaming the products because they do seem really nice. I'll try a different method with my next look so we can see if I still get this same issue. But even though they are creasing, I still would 100% use them all the time anyway because they're so pretty. I'm just going to go in with a little tiny detailer brush and I'm just going to try and draw a little bit more of the silver colour onto this just so that I can make sure that it's like really neat and precise and just to make sure that it stands out a lot so yeah I'm just going back over it with a little bit more of the silver I absolutely love how that is looking it's so pretty I'm just going to take a makeup wipe and clean up the edge of that and then I'm just going to go in with a little bit of mascara and lashes and then the top of the eye is finished I'm just using a little bit of the highlighter that I used on my face and blending that into my brow bone just to just to blend it all in together. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Reckless. I'm just gonna blend this under my eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Influence again. I'm gonna blend this underneath the eyes as well. And then I'm just gonna go in with the brush that I used for the makeup shade when I did at the top of my eyes. But I'm not actually gonna put any extra product on. I'm just gonna use this to blend underneath that just so it blends smoothly into the skin i'm just going to use my anastasia beverly hills sugar glow kit and i'm going to use the shade starburst this is the same highlight that i used all over my face as well so i'm just going to use it as my inner corner highlight so that it all blends together I'm just going to do my favourite nude lip combo at the minute. I'm probably just going to do this same lip with every look that I do today because a nude lip just goes with everything. So I'm going to use my MAC lip liner in the shade Car, And then I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipstick in the shade Sand. So this is the finished makeup look. We're just going to have to excuse my chapped lips because they are really bad at the minute. I know I've only done one look so far but I am absolutely loving this metallic base. I just think it looks so nice and I know for a fact I'm just going to be using them constantly. I feel like it just makes it look extra dramatic, extra glam and love it. I'm definitely going to try and use these metallic bases in like a less dramatic kind of way because I feel like not everybody wants to use them and go like this bold and this glam. So I'm definitely going to try and do like a more chilled out kind of look next but I just I just love this so much. I did struggle a little bit but I definitely think it's just because it's like the first time I used it and I feel like the more I use them like the better I'll get. I'm it. thinking for this look I'm going to do like a little bit more of a wearable glam kind of look. It's definitely still going to be glam but I want to try out these metallic bases in like an easier kind of way. I want to see if I can just like pack it onto the eye, blend it out and it look like really nice like that. So I think I'm going to go for like a dark smoky eye. I'm going to use the shade No Games which was the darker colour of them all. And I think I'm just going to go for like a smoky eye and then pack this onto the lid and like blend it out. It's definitely still going to be glam but it is going to be like a much more simple kind of look. So I'm going to use my modern renaissance palette again and i'm going to use the shade cypress umber which is the deep brown shade i'm just going to pack this all over the lid and blend it out
I'm just going to go in with this shade here. I'm just going to use this to blend out the edges. I literally never go for like a dark smoky eye. I think this is genuinely probably like the first time I've actually tried it. I just don't usually go for it. And then I'm just going to use a clean fluffy brush just to go around the edges to blend that out even further. So as always I'm just going to go back in with both of those colours and make sure I've got the blend nice and seamless. So I think I've managed to get the blend looking okay considering I don't usually use these colours so I am not used to it in the slightest but I don't think it's looking too bad I feel like with this kind of look it doesn't matter too much anyway even if it isn't perfect but I'm just going to take the metallic base in the shade no games and I'm going to put some of it onto the back of my hand and then I'm just going to take it onto a brush and I'm just going to pack it onto my lid This honestly looks so nice and it's so like easy to work with in this way. Just blending out the edges with the same brushes that I used for the eyeshadows. I actually really like using them in this way. I feel like it's just such an easy way to get an all over shimmer on your lid and for dry down as well so I bet it literally lasts all night. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of the shade You're Glowing. I'm going to use the same brush but I'm literally just going to put this like in the centre of my eye just to give it a little bit of a halo kind of effect. I'm going to blend the two into each other. So I've put some lashes on and do you know what to say I don't really usually go for these darker kind of colours. I am really liking it. I actually genuinely might wear this on like a night out or something because I think it looks really nice. It's just like a really simple metallic smoky eye. I just think it looks really nice and I bet you can do this kind of look with any of the different colours. You'd easily be able to do like a coppery smoky eye as well with the coppery coloured on the lid. I think it would look really nice like that as well. I'm just going to use the same shadows that I used on the top of the eye and I'm going to put them underneath the eye as well. I'm quite impressed that I've gone so dark on the eyes and I don't hate it. For my inner corner, I'm going to use the same highlight that I used on my cheeks again. I'm using the same palette, but I used a different colour this time. I'm just going to go in with the shade Marshmallow, and then I'm just going in with the same lip combo again. So this is the second look. I'm actually quite impressed at how much I am liking this. I didn't think that I was going to like it as I started it because it's too dark for me. But I'm actually really liking it. I am loving the metallic shade like all over the lid like this. I think it looks so nice. I think this could definitely turn into like my go-to night out kind of glam because it just looks so nice on the eyes. Like I said, you could definitely go with any of these metallic colours like all over the lid. You'd get the same kind of effect but this is like particularly night out because of like how dark and grungy it is. I don't think I've ever actually done like a grungy kind of makeup look on me. I don't hate it as much as I thought I would. So yeah this is the second look. I think I'm gonna try and include the last two colours into one makeup look so it's gonna be like a very warm coppery kind of look because the last two colours are like the gold and the copper. So yeah I think I'm gonna try and do them into the same look. I feel like with every look that I'm doing my skin is getting paler because it's taking off my fake tan and also my curls are getting looser as well. So I think for this last look I'm gonna do like a warm coppery half cut crease kind of look. I'm going to use my modern renaissance palette again and I'm going to use like the warm orangey red colours. So I'm going to start off with red ochre and I'm just going to pack this into the crease. I'm going to blend above that with this deep orangey shade here.
And then I'm going to go in with the shade of Burn Orange and I'm going to use this to blend above that as well. I don't know whether it's because this is like the third look of the day and my eyes are starting to get a little bit sore or if it's because I feel like I've got a migraine coming on but that took a lot longer to blend than what it usually does for some reason. It's definitely taken me the longest to blend it like out of all of the looks I've done today so far but I've managed to get it looking okay it's all nicely blended now. I'm gonna start off with the shade Extra AF. I'm gonna use this to start off the cut crease. And then I'm going to go in with the shade Hooked Up and I'm going to use this to cut out the outer part of that cut crease. And I'm going to try and blend the two colours together. These colours are so stunning. I actually don't know which one I prefer. I'm just going to go in with a little bit of red ochre again. I'm just going to tap this on the edge of that so that it blends into the shadows. I'm just adding another layer of both of the colours just to make it like pop a little bit more. And it's actually layering really nicely. I actually really like that. That gold has definitely got like green reflex to it. But it still looks really nice. So this is what the eyes are looking like. I'm actually really liking these colours. This is the kind of eye look that I would probably usually wear on a night out. Instead of like the dark smoky eye, I'd usually go for like these warm coppery colours. So I am really liking this. I'm not going to lie, the metallic base does look like it is cracking a little bit. I'm not too sure whether that's because I've like tried layering it up a little bit or... I'm not too sure but it does look like it is cracking a bit. It definitely wouldn't put me off using it like all the time. I'm still going to end up using them constantly. But yeah, that is just something to point out. It does look like it is slightly cracking. I think it might just be because I put like quite a few layers of it on top of each other. So just like I did for the last two looks, I'm going to use the same colours that I used to blend on top of the eye. And I'm going to use them underneath my eye as well. I'm going to use the same highlight that I used on my face again and this time I used the shade Butterscotch. I'm going to use this as my inner corner highlight again. So this is the makeup look finished. I think this is actually my second favourite look that I've done today. I think my first favourite is definitely that first look that I did. I always seem to prefer the more like creative looks. I still do really like these more like wearable ones as well. But this is definitely the kind of look that I would wear if I'm actually going out. The more creative ones I don't really leave the house in. But I would leave the house wearing this. I genuinely don't know which is my favourite out of the metallic bases. Because I'm not even saying it. I really do like them all. I feel like I'll probably get the most wear out of either the silver one or maybe this like coppery coloured one because I feel like I'll get a lot of wear out of the copper one. I feel like I'll end up wearing this copper one a lot like when I'm actually going out. I genuinely think I will get my wear out of all of them. They're such like wearable colours. So my overall thoughts are that I do really like them. I was expecting a lot and I feel like they haven't disappointed me so I am really happy. Like I've said in the video my only issue has been that they do look like they're starting to crack a little bit. It's not drastic though I feel like I'm just being picky because they do look like they're cracking slightly but that's also because it's like a metallic effect and I feel like you're not really going to get a metallic effect without that kind of 
it's not really cracking i don't really know how to explain it it definitely wouldn't stop me from wearing it if anything it just gives it more of like a glittery kind of effect i feel like there's so many different like kind of looks you can get using these you're definitely gonna end up seeing them a lot on my channel i really hope that they bring out more colors as well because i feel like i need a bigger collection of them i think there was only like 13 pound 50 something like that and i definitely do think they're worth the money so yeah these are definitely a big yes from me i feel like i'm going to be wearing these a lot so i really hope you've liked this video let me know down below which was your favorite look i definitely think it was my first one that i did but let me know which you preferred i will see you in my next video bye